at harness that we call it minimum sellable product what is your minimum sellable product and if you're going into an existing market minimum sellable product bar is a bit higher right if you have to replace some incumbent or someone is evaluating the you against some incumbent you have to at least do the core capabilities that the incumbent will do so the incumbent have 24 core features and out of 20 like say 10 are like bells and whistles that many people don't need but the 10 that are very core out of those so then those 10 you have to have in your mvp so what at harness when we build new products we go through the same cycle in each of our products that we build if you're going in an existing market you look at what are the table stake features which are really come from coming from what the incumbents would have and what you need to to address an incumbent and then what are your core your major differentiating capabilities on it if you don't have major differentiation you can that's a challenge as well but many times if you only do the differentiation it's not going to work because the for someone to pay pay for your product compared to an incumbent they need the table stake things as well so that's why i don't even like to use the word mvp at harness we call it the minimum sellable product because it's clear like what can you sell versus not